The Prime Minister is in South Africa in Johannesburg to attend the BRICS summit. Prime Minister was uh, received with a ceremonial welcome as he arrived at uh, Waterkloof Air Force Base in South Africa. The Prime Minister was greeted by members of the Indian diaspora later who gathered to welcome him. He will be in South Africa and uh, for the next few days at the invitation of uh, President of the Republic of South Africa. Meanwhile, Chinese President Xi Jinping is also in the country to attend the BRICS summit. Lots of suspense over the India-China meet, especially in the backdrop of the border standoff, which refuses to die down. 19 rounds of talks, all eyes will again be on the two leaders, and it remains to be seen whether they will meet or not. During the summit, the key focus will be expansion of the grouping and use of national currencies. As per sources, Prime Minister expected to hold bilateral meeting with Iran, Mozambique and Ethiopia on the 24th of August. We have uh, a special guest here, the deputy president of South Africa, who is here at the airport to receive him. Uh, a former ceremonial guard of honor, so to the extent that we are to receive him, the South African side is now going up to the aircraft to welcome Prime Minister Africa. Prime Minister has a fact schedule here, located in the AAP, and he will be spending the BRICS business for the leaders of the parties. We are so proud of the fact that Sri Narendra Modi ji is going to be here on our soil, bringing with him the value systems of India to Africa. One of the key factors of the BRICS summit is to look at a range of issues like climate change, economy and skill. And India stands at the forefront of teaching skills. The digitization of India is a remarkable milestone that has happened and we in South Africa want to learn from that. Narendra Modi ji, his vision on a global level with the economic growth and also international technology level also he want to expand on a global uh, level. And also coming to the BRICS, uh, we would like to have a new development bank and also technology wise also we would, like, we would like to have a bilateral link between the both all the countries uh, within included in the BRICS. All right, so this is the first in-person summit uh, since the pandemic. Joining me live uh, is uh, Peter van Olselen uh, from Johannesburg. Uh, Peter, you know, from India's perspective, of course, uh, what would be of keen interest is whether uh, the Indian Prime Minister meets uh, the Chinese counterpart, which comes in before the G20 summit in India as well. But can you take us through on what's expected in the next few days? Well, a very good afternoon here from Johannesburg. Just a short while ago, maybe about 20 minutes ago, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived here. I'm literally outside uh, the uh, hotel at which he's staying. Um, it was uh, a real sense of joy when everybody arrived. There must have been about oh, 50 or 100 people here uh, from the Indian diaspora uh, welcoming him. Um, there was music playing. He's arrived. Um, he seemed in good spirits. Uh, he was ushered straight through the really tight security here uh, as he was ushered through. Um, I think he's probably just upstairs now, uh, refreshing up. He will be addressing the Indian diaspora uh, before he heads over to uh, the convention center, which is literally 100 meters across the road here. That is scheduled to start at 4 o'clock in about 30 minutes time from now. So excuse uh, the uh, sort of uh, shaky picture, but there were all of these... Um, posters welcoming Narendra Modi here. Uh, everyone seemed to really be happy. I spoke to a couple of the diaspora uh, supporters and um, the elephant in the room was raised as to whether he was going to meet uh, with uh, is, uh, President Xi Jinping. Uh, that's still unsure. They, they seem to think that it would be a good idea. But at the moment, it's just jubilation that he's here uh, and they'll get down to business in about uh, half an hour from now. Well, Peter, that uh, elephant in the room continues to sit very quietly there, but we're going to keep a keen eye on all developments. But thank you uh, for joining us, and we're going to cut across to you in the next uh, 20 minutes uh, from now. But uh, mind, I just want to now quickly... All right, these are live visuals uh, which are coming through of uh, Prime Minister Modi being welcomed in, jo in Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. Peter, if you're still with us... Uh, is Peter still with us? If he's still with us, Peter, I want to just take... Uh, you know, uh, I want you to also come in while, of course, uh, traditional Rakhi being tied on the Prime Minister's uh, wrist. 
by members of the Indian diaspora. We'd seen the traditional thali earlier as well. As Peter pointed out, about 50 to 100 uh, members of the Indian diaspora outside his hotel, a lot of... Uh, uh, celebrations in terms where the Indian community and there is a strong Indian presence where Johannesburg and uh, various parts of uh, South Africa is concerned, especially areas like Durban. Many Indians would be coming in uh, and extending a warm welcome to the Prime Minister in South Africa. Clearly not his first time there, but this is the first in-person meet where the BRICS summit is concerned after the pandemic. We're going to continue to cut across to Peter, but these are live visuals which were coming in a short while ago of members of the Indian diaspora tying Raki. Raki, the Indian festival just around the corner, and uh, a, a welcome there uh, given, a warm welcome in fact, given to the Indian Prime Minister by the Indian community.